Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2022. Well, yesterday, I don't know if you were as surprised as I was to see the market reverse and rally so big on Monday, heading into a um, CPI report that well, as reports might suggest, could deliver some bad news. That being said, um, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach, approach the market for today on this Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, those bulls just really wanted to buy up risk heading into this report, seemingly absolutely unconcerned about um, the pending problems that could occur in this CPI report. We'll see if they're right or wrong. They may get rewarded, or could it turn into a bit of a Valentine's Day massacre if they were wrong? Um, who knows? Let's take a look here. If we take a look um, at volume here on the day, suspiciously low considering how much we rallied yesterday in point moves, the volume was just not there. So kind of an interesting chart. If the bulls find inspiration here, um, as I mentioned yesterday, um, if they were to push up here, I was suggesting that resistance level is the, is the place we would test. And that's exactly where we went um, as the bulls push through. So if they can continue to maintain that bullishness this morning, just remember we've had massive gaps before on CPI reports. If you guys remember, we had this massive gap up over here on that CPI report that um, the market opened and then immediately reversed and went um, uh, back down breaking lows. So expect a, br a pretty substantial move on this CPI report this morning. And if we can see those bulls following through, well then I would look for a test up here into these highs to see whether or not we can push on through that level up here. If we go past that, well, I think we're kind of in some uncharted territory. We'll be stretching this index pretty hard uh, doing this. This would be a massive point move to move up into a level like that here on the diamond. So watch that close. Now, once again, we want to be watching for the potential of a big point move and a potential whipsaw after that morning open um, could occur. So if the bears find inspiration, well, then I would look for a retest back down here on this lower side of that support. And if that were to fail, then um, we look down here. And I do believe those kind of big point moves are possible today. So be really, really careful um, here in the market. And hopefully you didn't load up on a whole bunch of trades yesterday because either long trades or short trades, you could see um, some damage uh, depending on how this market moves after the report. If we take a look at our um, SPY, SPY also had a big upside move, but we didn't quite make it all the way back up there to test that resistance level. So we're trying to pop it up in the pre-market here to, um, to show that we have confidence um, that this number is gonna be bullish for us and we're pushing it right back up here. So if those bulls can continue to push, then I would look for that level right up in here, that high point that we've seen as a potential resistance area in the chart. You can see there's lots of resistance across this chart in that area. And if they can push through there, well, about the only place we can go is a massive move to the upside uh, for that next major resistance level in the S&P 500. And if those bears find inspiration today, well, maybe a retest down in here, which would test that upside trend here in the chart. Um, we certainly have a bullish overall pattern here in the SPY, but at the same time, we have a little bit of a parabolic um, a nature to this where we're a little bit on the extended side here in the market. Now, if the bears push on through there, obviously we would give up that little upside trend if that were to occur and then I think maybe a pullback down in here to test this downtrend break 
as support and that would relieve some of that parabolic nature here in the chart and would actually bring us back a lot closer to that 50 day moving average um, which we just continue to stretch away from here um, recently and the QQQ is the worst offender of that extremely stretched away from its 50 day moving average so once again if those bulls find inspiration today we we powered back nicely yesterday but we didn't quite make it back up here to these highs so if we can push on through here maybe a press up in here into these resistance levels would be the place that we would go in the chart looking to find some um, type of breakout here in uh, the QQQ now that would be an extension and once again pretty parabolic in this move now if those bears find inspiration here well you could see that we could come back down in here and probably shouldn't be a major surprise that would actually be um, the next lower high potential because we made this lower high here on the QQQ if we see that bearish um, action coming into the market so watch that closely if we push on down below there that's where things could get a little bit dicey here for the Nasdaq that would break that upside trend and then we'd have to start looking for some support levels um, on lower here possibly down in here back coming back down to that uh, bear trend break so you'll want to watch carefully for that possibility if those bears really were to engage if uh, we take a look at IWM well IWM already suffered a little bit of a break here of the trend and although we um, came in nice and bullish yesterday holding on to that support here in the chart notice we really didn't change anything here in IWM and we could still follow through here on the downside with another lower high reacting to the to the bottom side of that trend so kind of keep an eye on that but if those bulls are able to push through with a good cpi number then i would look up into these areas here and you can see we've got a lot of potential possibilities for um, a level here in the chart i'm going to mark this right in here the reason i'm doing that is because we come really close to tying all of these um, candles together in that level right there so watch that close and you can see we got some high points across here um, as well that could be there so if we can get that bullishness maybe a push into there and if they can push past that then a retest of these highs up here seems like a possibility if those bears were to engage today and we were uh, uh, reacting negatively to this trend break then then maybe a push a little bit further down into some of these levels in here we've got quite a little bit of intermediate support levels here in IWM and of course um, uh, if if we break that trend there is that that risk that we could move substantially lower keeping in mind that we have a long ways to go just to come back to our 50-day moving average if we take a look at our VIX our VIX, interestingly enough, yesterday uh, moved up strong, but surprisingly, um, with a big move in the market here yesterday, we didn't get that major reaction in the VIX that you would have expected. Certainly, it was a reversal on the day, showing that fear dropping here in the chart, but we still hold on to a little bit of price support. As you can see in this chart we're still holding above that downtrend break and that may just be a result of that volume being so light yesterday which seems to be odd considering the big point move that we um, achieved in the chart um, or index chart so watch this carefully here if we were to grab on to a little bit of price support here then that's where we might see that fear come in and that little trend starting to uh, show itself i don't know that that's going to be the case because this number this morning could certainly move us a bunch and we could easily see us breaking that trend um, this morning on a good cpi report and pushing us right back down into those levels so prepare for big potential moves on the day if we take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 surged hard yesterday back to the upside and i had mentioned that we were kind of in the middle of the range here yesterday so with that big rally that we had yesterday pushing us back up here in t2122 we are once again pressing the 
those levels up here where we could easily reach up here um, into that bull or excuse me bearish reversal zone again here in the chart so we've opened up that opportunity here still in that chart and keeping in mind that yesterday's rally also opened up a big downside opportunity should that number disappoint this morning so keep a close eye on that and then if we take a look at our t2108 uh, this was kind of interesting yesterday um, seeing such a big move in the indexes and we struggled here a little bit to get t2108 to turn up as a matter of fact most of the day t2108 was lower to flat and then toward that end of the day we surged up and turned this to the positive side but once again i'm going to continue to remind everyone that as we press up in here into these levels that this is a very stretched out position here in the in the market 73 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and you can see pushing back up here it's a very rare occurrence when we push up through there and can hold so uh, just kind of keep an eye on that that we are a bit on that overbought condition here in the market and the same thing is true with t2107 we maintain that overbought condition here although we rallied up yesterday we struggled here quite a bit trend is certainly bullish here in the chart but once again almost 62 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day and you can see as we press back up here it's a pretty rare thing for us to see that much bullishness in the market be maintained for very long so be be watchful um, of that even if we extend higher and if we take a look at our t2101 interestingly enough yesterday the t2101 well, it didn't really help us out on that momentum front. Once again, because volume was so light, we continue to see these whipsawing moves here, um, reversals almost every day in the market. So, boy, um, today I think we can just kind of expect about anything to occur. So just be prepared because we're probably looking for a big point move on the day in reaction to this CPI number. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, whoops, doggone it. I uh, messed up here and closed my economic calendar, I guess. Give me just one second. Okay, here we go. Um, then let's take a look. We've got this CPI number here today and that's what I've been talking about all morning. That's gonna be the, uh, the, the big number of the day. Uh, month over month, they're looking, um, actually the CPI is expecting, the consensus is su su suggesting that we should get some kind of a increase on the month over month. So watch that closely. We've got some Fed speak going on here today, several Fed speakers, as you can see, and some bond announcements, and that's about it. And as soon as we get past this today, we've got those earnings reports to worry about, but then we're really gonna be starting to focus on these big market moving potential events on Wednesday morning um, that could be problematic for us. So kind of keep an eye on those um, as you plan ahead for Wednesday. On our earnings report this morning, we have um, uh, a busy day um, in earnings uh, for sure. I can't cover all of those reports here this morning, but a few of the notables that I will talk about here, um, Airbnb will be reporting today. Looks like it's trying to move up um, this morning um, in the pre-market here, so keep an eye on Airbnb. Coca-Cola has reported good results and popping a little bit higher here this morning. We're gonna get some steel in here with uh, Cleveland Cliffs reporting today, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, Marriott Hotels. Looks like we're trying to push higher here this morning on the Marriott. And we're also going to hear from um, like companies like Upstart and ZTS today. So keep an eye on those as they report. Oh, by the way, a um, little bit of um, energy and oil report coming in here today as well on Devon Energy. So if you wanna catch that full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if, uh, if we could do that, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the 
first time that you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click those thumbs up buttons, leave that brief comment. Helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to those folks who do that and then share these videos out on your social media feed. Helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so very, very much. I appreciate Appreciate it. Now, taking a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, we want to please keep in mind that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful today. Now, I would expect with the CPI reading, we could have some interesting moves. Places that you might want to keep an eye on would be like TLT. TLT, if the if the uh, number comes out bearish, we could see um, a bond yields rise um, today. That would be negative for TLT and positive for TBT. So keep an eye on that. We could also see um, some currency fluctuations that could result in a um, in, depending on how that CPI number comes out today. So watch that. That would also have an effect on some of our precious metals and commodity prices. So keep an eye on energy, keep an eye on GLD and silver. Um, they could have some significant market reactions based on how this number comes out today. Talking about other stocks in here that you might want to be keeping an eye on, um, take a look at uh, FedEx. FedEx setting up a very nice upside pattern. Now I will tell you, it still may be just a little bit extended away from the trend, but a very positive move here. We broke above, filled that gap, and we're resting right now in that chart. Notice two days of bullishness. We're trying to follow through. We're certainly going to need these uh, shippers, FedEx, UPS, things like that, to showing, be showing very positive numbers because if the consumer is slowing down, that's going to be a problem for us as we potentially head into recession. So watch that carefully. We need to see those follow through to the upside. So keep an eye on um, FedEx. Uh, to keep an eye on UPS. They're looking pretty good here, showing some positive patterns in the market. And you can see UPS trying to make a move here this morning as well. Another surprising thing to me, considering um, what we've been hearing in the retail numbers and the inventory um, numbers going high, um, um, cost of storage going way high, is that we're seeing a big move back into retail. Take a look at Costco. Um, Costco, whoops, Costco making a higher low in here on that chart. Now, certainly we're challenged by this big old downtrend that we see here in this chart, but we'll want to keep an eye on that to see if that can hold up and watch right in there on that support level. If this is going to be the bullish move, then watch that level in there to see if we can push on higher. And I saw some pretty good moves like Walmart stretching up here yesterday, really breaking through some resistance in the chart, as you can see, trying to break through that downtrend. Um, we've got a bullish W type pattern in here. So if that can prove the hold up here, would be kind of interesting and would really fly in the face that the consumer is weak here in the market. I saw stocks like Kohl's trying to move up yesterday. Keep an eye on that. A um, lot of retail making a move to the upside. Um, you may want to be keeping an eye on stocks like OKTA. Okay, TA, nice little resting pullback showing up here in the chart. Um, so look for that opportunity that we can hold that support level in here and move on up if we can find that bullishness. Uh, Monster Beverage. Monster, um, trying to find a higher low in here with Coke, providing some good results today. That might provide some upside move here in Monster. And we see PepsiCo also trying to stretch back up to the upside. So keep an eye on that. I see um, stocks like uh, in the oil sector have been feeling a little bit of pressure here, but Occidental receiving a upgrade here today. So watch that closely. Um, trying to put in a bit of a W type formation in here. If we can push on through that resistance there, then there may be some upside in some of these oil sector stocks. And it really is probably going to depend 
on how well this recovery in China goes, um, whether it'll continue or not. So we'll want to be watching those. Take a look at stocks trying to come up out of bottoms like Zoom Mobile trying to perk up. Now we rallied strongly um, after that earnings report here in, um, excuse me, no, that's not right. Um, uh, we've got earnings coming up here on Zoom Mobile. Um, I'm mistaking this for another chart. But um, watch this support level in here. Um, one of the things that we have seen a lot of is that rally into those earnings reports. So Zoom might be something to be paying attention to. Um, keep a close eye on that. And then, of course, our techs um, um, have been doing some pretty interesting things in here. And you guys know I've been holding a position here in AMD. And I think AMD could easily be setting up here soon for more upside potential. Keep an eye on AMD, um, uh, NVIDIA also continuing to stretch out. Now this is very parabolic and I'd be a little bit worried about that parabolic nature on this, but certainly showing lots of bullishness in that chart. So boy, some big moves. And with the chat GTP, boy, Microsoft had a great day yesterday. Uh, big pop to the upside pushing into some resistance however and maybe a little bit parabolic on the short term of that chart but showing some bullishness there overall so watch that close so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day apologize for some reason i was a little bit tongue-tied this morning y'all take care have a great day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Remember, anything is possible today, so protect your capital. Be careful. Remember, we want to live to fight another day, and um, there's just no sense in racing into risk um, or, or over-risking in a market that has so much uncertainty with the data moving forward. Y'all take care. Wish you all the best.